Today, I'm going to show you how you can draw Santa Claus. So let's go ahead and start off with the face. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a slight curve line just like this. And then I'm going to curve it inward like this. And then I'm going to draw the nose. So for the nose, we're just going to go a little curve, somewhat like a C and then a U, and then another C shape just like that. And I'm simply going to replicate what I just did on the left, on the right. So draw a little curve like this, bring it up, and then follow this around until we get all the way across, and then curve this one in just like that. So now we have this section right here. And then what I want to do now is let's go ahead and work on the mustache. So for this, I'm going to have a little curve line, just like that. And then I'm going to do another line inwards like this. And then I'm going to draw one more simply like this. And it's going to curve in just like that. And this will be essentially that mustache. And then we can do the exact same thing on the other side. So here, curve in. Again, curve in. And one more time, curve in and let it meet in the middle, just like this. And then you can simply connect them just like that. So that is the mustache of Santa Claus. And now we can draw a mouth. So here I'm gonna draw a little U shape just like this. And then we're gonna replicate that on the outside, just like this. And then here we can have a tongue. And then we can have just the inside of the mouth. So I'll have something like this. And then now we can start working on the eyes. So for here, simply going to draw a little curve like this. And then I'm going to draw the eye by having essentially an upside down U. And there is our first eye. And then I can draw a little circle inside here. And that would be the actual pupils. And we'll worry about that later. And then I'm going to draw another eye just like this. And then simply do the same thing with the U. And there we go, we have our U just like that. And then I'll draw the eyeball in here. And then we have our eyeball like that. And now I can draw a eyebrow. So let's go here. And this one's actually gonna end up connecting with the top of the head. So we'll have something like this. And then same thing on this side. So eyebrow here, and now we have it like that. And then now for the nose, we can add a little, little marking like this. And then let's work on the beard now. So here, let's start off with the beard, and I'm gonna make this one like a curved beard. So I'll have a line like this, curve it down like here, do one like that. And then we'll have another one. And for the fourth one, this can be like a pointy piece. You can have it. And then we're gonna curve it back up, just like that. And then simply go again, one again, one more. And then we can add in our last one. And this will connect us with the head, except right now we're gonna stop right about here. And then I want to complete this top part by drawing the hat now. So here's the hat, curve line like this, and then curve over, follow the shape of the head, get right to the end of the eyebrow. And then now we can work on the actual cap part. So here, we're gonna draw a line like this, curve it over, bring a line down, and then here, Start in between the hats, draw a line like this, 
bring it all the way down, try to bring it over here. And there we go, we have our little hat piece right here. And then we're gonna draw another line starting like right around here. And then I can simply curve it over just like this. And then we can draw our circle just like that. And now we have the head and the hat done. So let's work on the body. So right about here, I'm gonna draw the body. So simply I'm gonna have a little curve just like this. And then same thing on this side, a curve just like that. And then for the arm, I'm gonna have something like this. Draw the arm, go like that. And then this arm over here, just like this. And then I'm gonna draw a little shape for the wrist. And then here we can have our little gloves. So here, and just like that. Now we have our glove. And now we can draw the upper arm now. So for this one, we're gonna draw a line across, and then up, and then across. This would be the wrist. Then simply follow this along just like that. And then you can draw the little wrist piece right here. And then we can draw the hand and then simply draw our thumb. And there we go, we have our hand with our thumb. And now I want to draw the buzz. Let's even this out. And then I wanna have this going down the middle so he has like this little piece in his shirt. And now I'm gonna draw the belt right here. That way I know exactly where I want it to be. So I'm gonna have the belts just like this. And it's gonna be essentially a rectangle shape. And then here for this piece, simply it's going to be another inner piece like this. And then simply have the little lash that we have for the belt like that. And this can go over and we can paint over that so don't worry about it. And then here simply draw the belts by adding a line and then another line and then curve it up. And then same over here, we're gonna draw another line. And then we're gonna have the same exact thing on the left side. So draw like this. And then we can draw the extra part of the shirts or the jackets and simply have a curved line that goes up and into the shirt just like this. And then have another piece, goes like this, curves out, goes up, and then here, curving out, bring it up, and then bring this line in the middle, bring this one down here, curve it out, and there we go. So now we have our jacket here. And then simply for the legs, we're gonna have a line just like this, curve it out, bring it up, have like a U shape right here, bring it down, curve it out, bring it up. So now that is the upper part of the legs. Then simply I can go here, here, and add a little cuff area for the pants. And then I can simply go here and then add in our shoes. And then draw around like this. Same thing on the other side, bring it around. And here we go, just like that. And now, all we need to do is color this in. So stay tuned for that. And now we go ahead and start coloring. 